Welcome to PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. I'm delighted to see I'm joined here with Southampton striker Ross Stewart. Ross, thanks very much for joining us here today. No, pleasure. Thanks for having me. No problem. Uh, first of all, how's the recovery going? Yeah, it's going well. Uh, it's obviously been um, a, a frustrating period. Uh, nobody, no player really wants to be injured and I've kind of kind of three bad ones almost back to back now. So yeah, it's been a tough period, but well, we're well on the way actually hopefully towards the end of this week i'll be i'll be back kind of training with the lads so uh, that's good and we'll see about maybe hopefully try to be involved towards the end of this season absolutely we are in the middle of the international break at the minute if you were fit do you think you could have forced your way into steve clark's thoughts um i don't know it's, it's one of them i think you always got to just try and perform at, at club level uh obviously i was honored and really happy to get called into the kind of two previous squads before my injuries and I really enjoyed them so yeah I'd like to obviously uh, continue the form I was in then and hopefully go on to make the, the squads uh, after that but you know it wasn't to be but now I've just got to try and focus on getting myself back and get myself to that level again and hopefully hopefully they can come come back because I really enjoyed them. And Germany is just around the corner what do you think Scotland's chances are in this group? Yeah I think they've got a great chance I think Obviously, when you look at how well they've done in the, the Euros group, um, there's that, there's, there's, there should be no reason to go there with any fear and go there with, with a lot of confidence and go and, and, go and try and do well. Um, obviously, the, a lot of the lads will use the experience, I think, of the, the last one and hopefully go and build on that. And yeah, hopefully we can go there and have a really good tournament. And your teammate, Shea Adams, has scored 12 goals uh, so far. How much of an asset will he be to this national side? Is this his tournament to shine, do you feel? Yeah, I think she's obviously a top player. Um, I think I haven't seen more of him now recently. You, you realise how real, how good a player he really is, um, and obviously a massive asset to Scotland as well. He's, he's scored some big goals and plays a lot of minutes. Um, so yeah, hopefully going in, he can he can find find some good form and, and score score some important goals for us at this tournament. And just at club level, Southampton, you're fourth in the championship at the minute. Do you fancy your chances to get back to the Premier League? Yeah, obviously at the minute we've had a we've had a really good season up to now. It's just one of them where you've you've had a season where there's been four teams that are you know having seasons that haven't been seen before so yeah we've just got to obviously keep it going we've got 10 big games now and we've got to try and win as many of them as we can and, and see what it takes us but hopefully hopefully we can we can get in one of the top two positions because that that's certainly the aim and if that wasn't to be the case then we've got to go in and back ourselves to do well in the playoffs but yeah we've just got to obviously focus on ourselves and We've got um, 10, 10, 10 cut tough games, but hopefully with the form the lads have shown, we'll just continue that and win as many of them as we can and see what happens. Have you been keeping your eye on what's been going up in Scotland with your old clubs? Yeah, I'm always checking. Obviously, being Scottish and being up there, I'm always talking about it down here with a lot of the English lads and stuff and keep an eye on it myself, Ross County and St Mirren before that. And even, even obviously, I've came for down the leagues as well, so I keep an eye on them as well. So... Um, Obviously, Ross County under Don picked up some good results recently, so hopefully they can get themselves clear. And obviously, St Bernard are having a really good season as well, so uh, yeah, keep an eye on them. On Ross County, first of all, can they stay up? Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, I think since Don's took over, he, se he seems to have got a reaction out of the squad and uh, picked, up, picked up some good results recently, especially at home. So that's obviously going to be important going, on, going into the run-in, but... Um, They've just obviously got to try and keep doing what they're doing, what it, what it is they're doing is working right now and yeah, I'm hoping they stay up, so let's let's see if they can. And you would have played under Stuart Kettlewell, if that's right, at your time during at County. How impressed have you been with his qualities and what he's been able to do with Motherwell this season? Yeah, I was at Ross County with, with Stuart and Stephen at the time. Um, you know, I've got a lot of admiration for Stuart, I thought he was, he was great with me when I was there and really took my game to you know the next level at that stage in my career so I've always I've always got him to thank in terms of you know getting me to where I am now and seeing the job he's he's went and done at Motherwell as well they've, they've obviously probably down there they'd like to maybe be a bit more safe but you know I back him as well to get a, a reaction out of that squad and they run and, and keep them up and um yeah I'll be I'll be looking at that one as well. What would you say the key differences are between playing in England and Scotland? Yeah, there's, there's not there's not too many I think maybe down here I think maybe just the, the kind of speed of the game and the physicality in terms of how many games you have to maybe churn out a year um, is probably big but going for, going for, for League One I think Championship has been a general step up 
Um, but when I when I came down in League One, there wasn't there wasn't too much um, of a difference, I would say. Um, they're both tough leagues, you know. I don't think probably down here a lot of the lads appreciate how tough the SPL is to go and play. And at the same time, it's not it's not any easier when you come down here. So as as a really tough level, both of them. Um, and both that I really enjoyed in different ways. And you've, as you said previously, you've worked your ways through the leagues in Scotland and England. What's your ambitions now? Where do you look to go in the future? Just hopefully, first of all, get back get back fit and have no more kind of long-term injuries. And then after that, uh, it's really just see how high I can go. I've kind of been on this roller coaster now where I've kind of been able to take step up after step up. And, you know, the next step up for me would obviously be to, to go and play in the Premier League, which is why, why I ultimately joined Southampton. So hopefully, going back to Ella, we, we can get one of the top two spots or go up by the playoffs and, you know, I can go and test myself in the, the Premier League against, you know, some of the best players in the world. And then by doing that, hopefully off the back of it, I can go and, you know, m- make more appearances for, for my national team. Absolutely. Yeah, well, Ross, are you ready for the quick fire questions? <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. Toughest opponent? I think you're probably, you're probably looking at, you know, either... Ben Wright, Ben White or Gabriel at Arsenal when we played them for Sunderland in the League Cup at the time. That was yeah, that was a, that was a tough night. They were both really good on the ball, good athletes, and yeah, it was a, that was a tough night. Uh, the best player that you've played with? Yeah, uh, I've played with some good players now. Um, I think when I first joined Sunderland, I think you know Aidan McGeady at the time. I think his feet um, and ability at that level was was probably a level above. So. Uh, yeah, I think going as well, the kind of career he's had, it would be hard not to, to choose Aidan McGeady. Uh, the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Oh, <laughs> off the spot, pro- pro- probably a tough one to pick. I th- I'd probably just say something like, just never give up and, you know, just a lot of time enjoy it and, and give everything you've got to. Uh, the best moment of your career so far? Uh, yeah, that's make, make my Scotland debut. Uh, I think in terms of football, representing your country is probably kind of the pinnacle for me. So uh, to do that, even though it was only a few minutes off, off the bench, was, was a huge honour. And, and like I said, hopefully I can go on to do that many more times and hopefully you know have a few starts as well. And finally, one player you'd like to have played with or play with from the past or present? Um, I think, well, for me, it would probably be my football and idol, Terry on me. Um, I'd love to play with him at some point. Um, he was the reason that I kind of grew up loving football, and the reason I probably play football, you know, watching him. So yeah, he'd have been one I'd love, love to share, you know, the pitch with. For more exclusive content just like this one, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel, and don't forget to download our app, which is available on Google Play and the App Store.